heading to school. But before, because I haven't done the homework, I'm going to the library. Oh, yeah. He gets around it. You can just tell they're mad anti-vaxxers. There's actually uh, lots of homeless people always asking for money. Like this guy. It's kind of... It's sad. You know, because... We have the idea in Australia the, the French social security is super good, which it is pretty good, but I think it's not as good as it used to be. Here when you call the emergency services, you get the fire brigade that comes first, and then they decide if you need the police or an ambulance. That's why England was mad when their Korean princess died, Princess Diana, because they were like, you know, why don't you just bring the ambulance like we said that's just not how it works here so there's a lot of diesel cars here but as you can see 98 that's like 98 petrol one euro 92 well 93 cents actually un euro 93 centimes voici la bibliothèque so la librairie is a bookstore and the library is la bibliothèque. It's closed. Dommage. All right, it's okay. There's a cute little park here. I'm gonna sit down in next to the railway. That means chess. It's like we, in English, just kind of swapped one of the letters out and then spelt it wrong. So I just started to do some homework, but it turns out that the class is um, is cancelled. So, free day in Paris! It's not a crazy good day, but um, at least it's not raining, so I'm gonna go to the Bois de Vincent uh, park, like the wo Vincent Woods, and um, that's like in Paris. Just gonna check it out, and I'll do my homework there. I would have gone to the museums, but they're all closed on Monday too. So, park it is. So in France, they're not famous for common sense. Your card, it doesn't matter if you use it a hundred times or one time, it's the same price. But you still have to tap it on the thing, because otherwise you can get a fine, which doesn't make any sense. Don't forget to tap it. Man, the French don't make any sense. Here's their school system. I just had to say this. When they're three years old, they go to PS. Then when they're four, MS. Then GS, which is like kindergarten. Then CP, CE1, CE2, CM1, CM2. And that brings us to fifth grade. Then they go to like middle school. And then they have la the sixth. <laughs> then when they have a, like when they're like eleven years old, they go to the sixth. Then the fifth. Then the fourth, third, and that's like ninth grade. Then they go to high school, and then they have the second, the first, and the terminal, which is twelfth grade. And then, okay. High school is lycée, and after lycée, you get a baccalauréat, which is like a high school certificate. And then, when you go to université, you get a licence. Just watch the rest of the video. If I paid by distance, like from here to here was cheaper than from here to here, then it would make sense to tap on, but it's not like that. All the stations and all the roads around Paris are called Bocht. They have this low-cost Disneyland here which doesn't interest me at all. I think I think I gotta go by there over here. Whoa! Whoa! What a cute dog. This place is massive. What are you doing there, you goose? What 
He's at Australia, by the way. So, Singe Noir d'Australie. They thought that all swans were white. The scientists were like, yep. All swans are white. Yep. That about does it. Well, actually, they spoke French. They're like, whip. <laughs> Tous les singes sont blancs. It's fini. Bite in Australia, as we know. We have black swans. And everyone was like, and also they were like, what? Platypus. They call it ornithorhynque. And it's big, like with a bird's beak. And by far, it's plat, platypus. Plat is like pla, which is flat. And pus is like pied, which is like feet. So it's got flat feet. And yeah, so in France, they were like, what is this? Ornithorhynque. C'est quoi? C'est pas possible. This, this shit is not real. It's like someone is pulling our leg. But um, yeah, it turns out it actually exists. And that's the cool thing about French. It is closer to Greek and Latin. So, you know, when you learn the French words, you can kind of tell the etymological word root for stuff easier because it's usually Greek or Latin. That is so nice. What are these big ass rocks? I noticed this bigger rock over here. <laughs> Bite. Ah, uh, I only have two dollars in my account. Chômage. At least here the public toilets are free, so I don't need to pee in a bush. Sometimes you do have to pay. These woods are massive. It's only 11 degrees, but I'm sweating. I feel like I'm back in Japan. And it was snowing like three days ago, so it's crazy that these cherry blossoms have flowered. There's no space in Paris. So the smell of fresh grass really takes me back home. In the Blue Mountains, there's heaps of grass <laughs> and trees and stuff, but there's just not here most of the time. I mean, it's not really that they don't have any trees. I take that back. They do have some, but nobody has a lawn. And that's something that shook me when I got here. You know, I, I found all the houses really small. Um, and yeah, there's, no one has a lawn. Everything's really packed in and close. But I mean, it's not that having a lawn is better. Everything's more convenient here because it's way closer. You just go downstairs and you have everything like at your doorstep. Whereas in Australia, you have to drive to get anywhere. I mean, here, it wasn't so much of a cultural shock as in China. Like, France and Australia were pretty close culturally. Um, and the average English speaker knows 15,000 French words before they even look at a French textbook or start learning it. But you have to know how to spell them. Like, dessert and desert. Like, I know those words. <laughs> but, and it's spelled the same in French. But I don't, I still don't know which one is which. I just guess it and 50% of the time I'm right. E cigarette, e liquide et accessoire. You know. And that was so cute. Biz is um, kiss. So there were these kids on the train and I was like, oh, I probably shouldn't film them. That's really creepy. But they were saying, Michel Bizo. That means like Michel got kissed. And the kid was like, no, that's his name. The other one's like, oh, I understand now. I just spent half of my remaining money on this ordinary croissant. That means without butter. One euro, 10 cents. And now I'm going to a radio play. Ooh. The train is Plan Commandeuf. Classic Ausmanian architecture on display there. And then at the top is where the housemates used to live. I mean, whoa. And I don't know if you've seen that, it's nothing, don't worry about it. There's a big old stick building over there. Radio Friends. 
and that is the Statue of Liberty's little sister. Fuck putain. Am I right, ladies? That's the name of the radio station. France en terre. Um, if you are pro life, you're actually anti life because you're condemning the mother to die. Because in Poland, three women have died this year because abortion's illegal there. So that, the mum was going to die, and the doctors weren't allowed to abort the baby, so their mothers died for no reason. Yeah, it was kind of, it's kind of, it was kind of heavy. It's 8.30. Just got up. It's raining today. So I'm just going to the local baker. It's only two minutes away. And there's another five five minutes away it's pretty dope actually six there's another one in the other direction <laughs> it's probably more but yeah if you need bread in the morning Fred's is the place to get it and I'm gonna order a traditional baguette because there's different types of baguettes and I'm telling you traditional is the best one this is a traditional French brekkie I got my margarine that I'm gonna chuck on this baguette and some coffee and jam. So I'm starting with the bottom side of the baguette because it's good, but it's the less good side. The top side's got more me, which is the inside part of the bread. I'm gonna do a quick transcription of one of the stories on Duolingo. I always do that in the morning because French is really hard to write. So, yeah, I'm going to do that real quick and then I'm going to go to the museum. Also, I'm stalling because I want to eat lunch here because I have no money to go and buy lunch outside. <laughs> I seriously, I need to start at OnlyFans. You can do this with any language, just to kind of explain what I'm doing. I listen to one line of the story and then I write what I heard. And like there, I just wrote that, but actually I missed an E on... Adolescent, adolescent, with an E at the end. And then you go line by line, and eventually you learn how to write. So this brand is usually super good, but we're not gonna be cooking with that today. Uh, I got these Wuhan, um, in the 13th. So that'd be sick. Zhugamian, we used to eat this stuff all the time in Wuhan. Everyone used to love this stuff, and it was like, one euro for it all cooked and i think just these noodles were like two or three euros without all the other stuff in it and here they have to like in france this is the thing you have to attach the handle and i reckon it's not that it's not a good idea because it damages the like non-stick <laughs> we got yogurt we got jam we're gonna put them together now after that i've had my lunch so this is Canton, which is which just means spring, but it's a huge store with like really expensive stuff in it. I'll, I'll just show you on the inside. It's not even where I'm supposed to be going, but it's crazy because you know you got Gucci here, and didn't just outside there's like homeless people. Life, huh? So I was here only five minutes after I was supposed to be, like according to maps. Which is pretty good because I had to get two air e air um, trains, and they're notoriously, they're chronically on, um, late. Yeah, it's just a thing. Like thirty minutes like, away. I know oh. they were offering a refund because they, they were late more than twenty percent of the time for the last three months. So you could get like a couple of weeks rebate, which you know is is abuse quoi. So I forgot to mention this yesterday, but when you ask a French person about their weekend, it's 
they give you like a full recount of what happened and where they went and who they're with and their family and like whereas in australia there's an expected response to say oh how was your weekend the expected response is good or yeah pretty good <laughs> that's it finished end of conversation so you know i was reading this paper french people when they come to australia they're like oh my god like they're so distant and un unfriendly um but no it's just different but you get used to it it's okay we we get along well and these things did you see the size of that car here if the car has a super small engine you don't need a license to drive it so there's a lot of people who get like cars that you don't need a license for like this one it's cheaper you don't need a permit you're only going to go with like 20 k's an hour anyway in paris because there's so much traffic the museum of romantic life boom bargain free it's in here this one is a fan of caricatures this one is the outlaw who writes wrongs this one is the supplicant and apparently romantic artists really liked making sculptures of satan it was small but um it was good you know and small is good at least that's what i keep telling myself so every station is named after some dude that's famous mironi i think that's how you say it the dude that this guy this station was named after he um abolished the like torture before you answer to crimes so before it was like yeah, we'll torture you to get your confession. And then this guy was like, nah, we'll, we'll stop that. So there's MEM, Museum of Modern Art, Paris. But I'm gonna go just another 100 meters because there's the Japanese palace just around the corner. So yeah, Asian art's there. That's the Museum of Fashion. That's the MAM, and I'm pretty sure the Japanese palace is down here. No, that's not the MAM, that is the Japanese palace. It's just closed today. Ah, oh, how can I be so stupid? So yeah, that's still the fashion museum. And this one here, with the huge sign that says, Palais de Tokyo, that means <laughs> Tokyo Palace. And then right next to it is the man. So this guy turned his paintings upside down so that what was represented became more abstract. These are actually bins. Just melted bins. So that was massive. I didn't get time to see it all. Um, but now I gotta go to school. So that makes 24 hours. Yeah. Ladies. <laughs>